Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you have uh, started following me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or anywhere, I, I, I would hope you have, if only because I surface things uh, that I otherwise don't surface. So I don't record a video about everything that I find. Uh, one of the things that I found isn't really a thing, it's a, it's a person. A few weeks ago, you might remember us doing a video on software and uh, those uh, with disabilities uh, finding it easier on certain platforms uh, and more difficult on other platforms that didn't support any kind of uh, true accessibility for them. And a comment came in to uh, this particular article, and I see every comment that comes in on blog posts uh, on LockerGnome.com, every single one. And uh, it, it it caught my eye. It says, hey, you know, I just did a video on this. And I'm like, okay, what's this video? I clicked the video, and it's a kid uh, and the, the title of the video was called One Switch, One Head, The World. I was like, huh. And I watched this video and I was mesmerized. I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Uh, this kid's story, uh, the fact that he uses this little switch at the back of his chair. You may have seen it if, if you caught me sharing it a few weeks ago. And he controls what happens on his screen by, you know, basically tapping his head against this switch that's connected to his computer. And by the way, I don't know of a bigger Apple fan than this kid. And I, I, I love this kid. Uh, he even, during the video, he shows all the Apple products he has. He loves the world of Apple. Of course, he has some PC components in his uh, room as well. Uh, so I shared the story because I thought it was an amazing story that this kid was telling how he uses his computer. Uh, with this this one switch on the back of his chair, and uh, I shared it, and he published. I, I shared it on all the so, uh, social networks I had, and basically, uh, people came forward, and, and they really they were jerks, uh, idiots, trolls, whatever you want to call them, uh, less than human people uh, were commenting on uh, this video and saying, you know, rather disparaging things uh, that that he just. He just did not deserve. So he took the video down. I, I wish I would have been able to reach out to him before he did that, but we ga got him a lot of attention. It's a great story. And uh, so I said, okay, do this again, but next time turn off ratings, turn off comments, turn off all that stuff so that you won't be subjective uh, to, to that kind of onslaught. And he did. He didn't turn off ratings uh, when he posted the new video, uh, but as soon as he did, the comments were disabled. And I did the same thing. I, I reshared the video. I got it out there. Ended up connecting with uh, my friend Tim over at Engadget. Engadget ran a story on this kid. Uh, Christopher Hills is his name, by the way. Uh, and then Alyssa Milano ended up picking it up on Twitter. The Verge picked it up as well. Uh, and I'm proud to say that uh, Christopher is uh, well on his way to 100,000 views on that video. Uh, he's right now at about 72,000. Amazing, amazing, amazing story. In fact... Uh, what's most amazing about this uh, is that he's actually going to start doing a video series on YouTube talking about the intersection of technology and disabilities. Uh, and that intersection is, is where he is. Uh, and uh, honestly, I've found very few people uh, in all my years online uh, who could you know, really share that story better than Christopher can uh he uh when you watch the video that we're talking about we linked it of course uh in the the, the article that we wrote when you share your world uh, the world shares you when you have an interesting story to tell and christopher's story is certainly very compelling he edited that video uh that uh, hopefully you have seen and if not you owe it to yourself to uh to to watch the video uh, really now a series of videos that he's doing uh, starting with one switch one head the world uh, you know, I, I, I have a lot of, uh, you know, um, respect uh, for Christopher in, in doing what he does, uh, considering the hurdles he has to overcome, uh, things that uh, people like me take for granted, uh, being able to click a, a mouse button and move a cursor across a screen. Uh, he doesn't have the luxury of doing, and yet he's able to do things that some people could only dream of doing, and I, I guess that just goes to show you that technology can enable uh, everybody uh, in, 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 in the strangest ways. Now Christopher's getting his story out there, and uh, 
you know, be- before we had a chance to to really, you know, pres- have a chance to present Christopher for the lack of a better word, and, and to give him, you know, access to a greater audience, uh, you know, I, I wanted to make sure people knew about him. So uh, we, we kind of did an interview with Christopher, uh, kind of getting his take on uh, on what had happened and, and, and where he wants to go and, and his background with technology uh, in the article that we've linked in this description. When you share your world, the world shares you. So uh, I'm very happy uh, to have a new friend on the other side of the world, uh, and uh, I'm very, uh, I would say, uh, heartened, uh, you know, uh, instead of disheartened. I would have been disheartened if he had not pushed through and published uh, his uh, presence after being uh, dissuaded by so many uh, negative comments. I'm heartened to know that uh, Christopher is pushing forward and that uh, you may be making a new friend at some point in the, the near future as well. Share Christopher's story. He deserves it.